This is incrementing and decrementing the value in a single cell using buttons. So I've already set up the bareness of the sheet. All we're going to be doing is incrementing a count here in A2. That's it. This could be put anywhere, but we're going to do it right now in the, in the example one just on A2. Extensions app script opens up our script editor. And when you're assigning a script to a button, you actually want to name that something uh, very useful, very helpful to know what it's doing. So we're just going to call this increment A2. Really, we're going to go that simple. I'm going to declare the sheet. And that's the spreadsheet app dot get active. I'm just going to go all the way to get active sheet. If I have multiple tabs I need to worry about, I do get active and then get sheet by name. But in this case, because it's a button, we can always just do get active sheet. So long as the action of the button is on the same tab as the button. In other words, if I'm putting it somewhere else, if I'm pushing a button to do something on a different tab, then I would use get sheet by name as it is. Look, we're just going to get the sheet where the button is. By range is sheet dot get range a two. That could also be a row two column one, but it can be more clear just to put out the A1 notation. Now, the reason I'm declaring the range here is because I need to use the range twice. First, I need to do range.setValue. That's what it's actually doing. And then I'm going to do range.getValue. And I'm going to increase the current value by one. Okay, so I'm setting a value as the value that's already there and adding one. That's it. Pretty simple. Now let's go ahead and make sure this works. We're at nothing right now, which for the script evaluates to zero. I'm going to push run and it's going to require authorization because it's using the spreadsheet app basically. Project, I'll allow, and this is now at one. Do it again, we're at two. Do it again, we're at three. Perfect. Now I also want to be able to reduce, so I'm going to do a function decrement a two. This is almost an identical script. The only difference is that's going to be subtract instead of add minus instead of plus. But otherwise, the same sheet, the same range, and the same methodology. Set value of the current value minus one. Try this one. And run. You'll notice it doesn't ask me for authorization. The script project has been authorized. So I don't need to authorize it again. Right, it does it's not per function, it's for the entire project. And now we're at two. And now we're at one. And now we're at two. Awesome. So the scripts are working. Now I want to turn these into buttons so that it can be run from the sheet without having to go into this script editor. We're gonna insert a drawing. Drawing is gonna be really simple. I'm gonna use the triangle shape. I'm going to make a little one, I'm going to color it green. Yep. Here. And then insert drawing. I copied that one so I can just paste that back in. Let's flip this around. Color it red. Now let's color it real red. And they're close. All right. Now to assign scripts to a button, we use these three dots here. Assign script. Now the script, when you're assigning it here, it's just the name of the function. It, we don't need to say function and we don't need to put the parentheses at the end. So it's just increment a2. That's it. It's not function. It's not 
increment A2 parentheses. It's just the name increment A2. We're going to do the same thing on this one. Increment A2. Now, if I click this, it'll say running script up here and increase this to three and then four. Well, what did I call it? Did I misspell it? I misspelled it. There you go. Down to three. Down to two. That is one thing I wish. I do wish that when you're assigning scripts that this dialog knew what scripts exist. It doesn't. That's okay. We can usually just copy this if you really need to. But that's it for creating buttons, for creating scripts and assigning those scripts to the button. We use those three dots. And then if you do need to select the button, right click will get you back onto the image itself so you can change it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share if this has been of value. You can connect with me here in the comments. I do try to be fairly active in responding and helping in the comments. You can also email me. Find me on my website, LinkedIn, Twitter, and I'm also very active on the official Google Help forums for Sheets and AppScript.